What's good guys, this is Vahography, I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. AI can be dangerous to photography and photographers out there. Well, first of all, I'm all for AI helping photographers out, you know, to speed up their workflow with editing, raw processing, you know, exposure adjustments, skin softening, lessening the noise, that's cool i'm not talking about that type of ai and when you talk about video ai tracking software that's all good you know i'm talking about when you actually sit in front of a computer with a few keystrokes and generate a quality image that you cannot tell a difference from ai or a real photograph you get what i'm saying this can be dangerous are we living in times now that we need to justify the photograph do I need to tell you that, hey, this is a real photograph or it's AI? Do we need to put a little tag on each picture stating that it's a real shot? You see what I'm saying? You see how this can get dangerous? You see how this just it sucks for us photographers that go out, wake up early morning, go out and put in the effort and generate a real still image. You can sit in front of your computer right now and generate an amazing street photography picture. Yeah, you could sit in front of a computer, boom, 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 type in whatever you want to type in, and there you go. You have a photograph that you really can't distinguish from an AI or a real picture. Now, for those photographers that put in the work, that go out, get their camera out, and then compose a shot, how about all you wildlife photographers that wake up at four in the morning just to get to that location, that image that you need the right lighting for, you get up at four in the morning to get ready and you can, why do that? You can just generate that in a computer. It sucks, it really does. And I'm here to stand against this real stupidity out there because look, it's like music guys. It's like, I play the drums. I know what it takes to play the drums and to practice. And for somebody to come in and just press a few buttons on the computer and generate a drum beat and an amazing drum fill, same concept here. Who wants that? For real photographers, this can be a dangerous slope. So for photographers to have to justify in the future that they actually took this image because what's gonna happen is you're gonna post your photograph, people are gonna ask you, did you really take this picture or is it AI? I don't know how it's done. I don't know where they're just generating these images it's coming from somewhere this ai for still photography is going to get so good that you're not going to be able to tell anymore if somebody actually took this picture or not where are we headed with this as a photographer that goes in and puts his hard effort into learning the craft and go in and take real photographs i'm against this stuff yeah it's a cool laugh amongst buddies amongst creatives hey look what i generated oh that's cool yeah that's cool but that's where it ends for me that's where it ends because we're gonna it's gonna come to a point where you're gonna have to justify each photograph that you post each photograph that is published oh he didn't actually take this photograph this is ai generated there's no way he took this picture so where are we headed with this now, here's one thing we can do to kind of pump the brakes a little bit on this. Stop promoting AI on your platforms. Stop talking about it. Stop talking about how awesome it is. Stop generating AI images and posting them on your Flickr or on your Facebook or anywhere. If you're a real photographer out there that really uh, values your time and effort that you go out and you you put in your photography, then you should. we should do something about this. Stop promoting AI generated photograph platforms, uh, websites on your social media, whether you have a YouTube channel, stop talking about it, actually come and go out against it because what's going to happen eventually, we're going to have lawsuits. We're going to have people upset that the computer generated the likeness of their work and there's going to be a big mess going on here. So I'm just bringing awareness to this topic. Like I said, I have nothing against the software AI that helps you edit, that helps us with our workflow, 
retouching, video editing AI, that's cool. I'm talking about the still photography where somebody sits in front of the computer without any effort just to type in a few words on the screen and generates a work of art. That's the issue that I have as a photographer. Let me know if you're in the same boat that I am. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments below. I want to hear what you have to say, your opinion on this. And I also want to hear your thoughts on what can be done to put a stop to this because it's just going to cause problems and we're going to have to justify our photograph and we're going to have to say, hey, by the way, this is a real picture. It's a slap in the face to everybody that has come before, you know, the Vivian Myers of the world that actually went out and shot film and shot in dangerous conditions, street photography, the Ansel Adams of the world, the photographers, the pioneers that actually did something for photography and not just something in front of a computer. Like I said, it's cool. It's a good laugh. It's a good a dopamine hit, I guess, for the first five seconds. Wow, this is right. But that's it. That's it. That's where it should stop. For still photographers, that's it. You know, sports photographers out there that go out and shoot this amazing action shot. You don't think that can be AI generated? Of course it can't. You know, bird photographers, you're a wildlife photographer. It might be easy to generate a amazing eagle shot somewhere going down and just swiping up that fish from Lake Lake Tahoe. And just, you know, we don't know if this is real. You got a pixel peep to check it out. You know, this is a dangerous area for still photographers, artists out there that really take the time to study the arts and that love photography if you love photography go ahead stand with me on this you know put it out there that we don't want any part of this you know if we have to stop these websites from popping up that's what we have to do because it's killing the art it's killing our hobby it's killing our craft it's killing our livelihood we don't want that i don't want that and if you agree with me Hit that thumbs up in this video. I want a lot of people to see this. And so we can get the word out. Make your own videos about this. We got to get the word out, guys. As photographers, if you care what I'm saying, and if you agree with me, and if you care about the future of photography, then you'll stand up with me on this. And you'll spread this video around, and you'll make your own content against still image AI photography websites. Leave a comment, like I said, let me know what you think and what you think should be done about this. Can we do something about this to put an end to AI generated still photography? All right, guys, thanks for listening and we'll see you on the next video. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagan, your rock and roll photographer. We'll see you next time. Rock and roll. You can't take that.